Example of tabbed interface with two sets of tabs, horizontal tabs, at the top, allow navigation to different pages within the Wiktionary website. Vertical tabs, to the left, represent languages in which a given spelling occurs, where the selected tab shows the word jam in Esperanto. In interface design, a tab document interface or tab is a graphical control element that allows multiple documents or panels to be contained within a single window, using tabs as a navigational widget for switching between sets of documents. It is an interface style most commonly associated with web browsers, web applications, text editors, and preference panes, with window managers, especially tiling window managers, being lesser known examples. GUI tabs are modeled after traditional card tabs inserted in paper files or card indexes. Tabs may appear in a horizontal bar or as a vertical list, of which the former takes typically less screen space whereas the latter can show more items at once while still having space for individual titles. Horizontal tabs may have multiple rows. Tabs may be organizable by changing their order through drag and drop, creating a separate window from an existing tab, and implementations may support range selecting multiple tabs for moving, closing, and separating. The WordVision DOS word processor for the IBM PC in 1982 was perhaps the first commercially available product with a tabbed interface. PC Magazine later wrote that it has served as a free R&D department for the software business, its bones picked over for a decade by programmers looking for so-called new ideas. Hypertize browser and Gosling Emacs authoring tool with Pi menus on the need WS window system Don Hopkins developed and released several versions of tabbed window frames for the need WS window system as free software. Which the window manager applied to all need WS applications, and enabled users to drag the tabs around to any edge of the window. The need WS version of Unipress's Gosling Emacs text editor was another early product with multiple tabbed windows in 1988. It was used to develop an authoring tool for Ben Schneiderman's hypermedia browser Hypertize, in 1988 at the University of Maryland Human Computer Interaction Lab. Hypertize also supported Pi menus for managing windows and browsing hypermedia documents with PostScript applets. While Boeing Calc already utilized tab sheets since at least 1987, Borland's Quattro Pro popularized tabs for spreadsheets in 1992. Microsoft Word in 1993 used them to simplify submenus. In 1994, BookLink Technologies featured tabbed windows in its Internet Works browser. That same year, the text editor Ultra Edit also appeared with a modern multi-row tabbed interface. The tabbed interface approach was then followed by the Internet Explorer shell net captor in 1997. These were followed by a number of others like iBrowse in 1999 and Opera in 2000. MultiViews October 2000, which changed its name into Multizilla on April 1, 2001, Galleon in early 2001, Mozilla 0. 9. 5 in October 2001, Phoenix 0. 1 in October 2002, Conqueror 3. 1 in January 2003, and Safari in 2003. With the release of Internet Explorer 7 in 2006, all major web browsers featured a tabbed interface. Users have quickly adopted the use of tabs in web browsing and web search. A study of tabbed browsing behavior in June 2009 found that users switched tabs in 57% of tab sessions, and 36% of users used new tabs to open search engine results at least once during that period. Numerous special functions in association with browser tabs have emerged since then. One example is visual tab browsing in Omni Web version 5, which displays preview images of pages in a drawer to the left or right of the main browser window. Another feature is the ability to reorder tabs and to bookmark all of the web pages opened in tab panes in a given window in a group or bookmark folder. Links can most often be opened in several modes, using different user interface options and commands. There are minor usability issues such as whether a new tab opens in the end of the tab list or next to its parent. For example, Internet Explorer marks tab families with different colors. In 2021, researchers published the first in-depth study of web browser tab interfaces in over a decade. They found that many people struggle with tab overload and conducted surveys and interviews about people's tab use. Thereby they formalized pressures for closing tabs and for keeping tabs open. The authors then developed related UI design considerations which could enable better tools and changes to the code of web browsers, like Firefox, that allow knowledge workers and other users to better manage and make use of their browser tabs. An example of Mozilla Firefox with two tabs open. Each tab, here ordered in a horizontal row, shows a different web page, 
thus allowing multiple pages to be contained within a single browser window. Tablist on Kiwi Browser, a mobile browser derived from Google Chromium. Both title and URL are shown and can be expanded through hovering. The name TDI implies similarity to the Microsoft Windows standards for multiple document interfaces and single document interfaces, but TDI does not form part of the Microsoft Windows user interface guidelines. There is some debate about how the TDI fits in with the Microsoft Windows user interface guidelines. In many ways the workbook window management model most closely resembles TDI. However this is a relatively recent addition to the Windows user interface guidelines. And most developers still prefer to view SDI or MDI as the primary document models for MS Windows. Advantages because the tab document interface holds many different documents logically under one window, it keeps the primary operating system interface free of the clutter that would be created by a large number of small child windows. Another advantage is that sets of related documents can be grouped within each of several windows. Tabbed web browsers often allow users to save their browsing session and return to it later. Disadvantages Gini Text Editor with vertically oriented tabs, showing the large number of documents that can be accommodated although the tab document interface does allow for multiple views under one window, there are problems with this interface. One such problem is dealing with many tabs at once. When a window is tabbed to a certain number that exceeds the available display area, the tabs clutter up. Multi-row tabs are a second issue that will appear in menu dialogues in some programs. Some prefer to have many tabs open, and some programs help making these compact yet identifiable, while normally dealing with multiple rows of tabs. In one window is seen to have two disadvantages, finding a specific tab in a three or four level tabular interface can be difficult for some people. Part of the issue with this difficulty lies in the lack of any sorting scheme. Without such tabs can be strewn about without any sense of order, Thus looking for a tab provides no meaningful understanding of a position to a tab relative to other tabs. Additionally, the clutter created by multiple tabs can create a dialog that is unusually small, with the tabs above it dominating the window. Thus, although tabbed windows are adequate in environments where there is a minimal necessity for tabs, this scheme does not scale, and alternate methods may be required to address this issue. Among the methods for addressing the problems of the scalability of many tabs, Large numbers of tabbed windows scale better with the tabs along the left or right edges of the window, instead of the top or bottom edges. That is because tab labels are usually much wider than they are tall, and because it is now common to use displays which are considerably wider than needed for displaying documents and web pages. The Need WS version of the Unipress Emacs text editor placed tabs along the right window edge, and laid windows out in a vertical column, so each tab was initially visible and the user could use them to raise and lower the windows, drag them around in the column, or pull them out to anywhere on the screen. Cyber Visual Postscript Programming Environment for Need WS, with tabbed windows around objects on and off the stack. Tabbed window interfaces can give the user the freedom to position the tabs along any edge, so all four edges are available to organize different groups of tabs as the user or application sees fit. The Cyber Visual Postscript programming environment for Need WS had tabbed views that the user could stick onto the stack, and the user could move the tabs to any edge. The Need WS Pi menu and Tab Window Manager enabled users to position the tabs anywhere along any edge, and the tabs popped up Pi menus with window management functions, to uncover and bury windows, etc. Advantages for people used to SDI, MDI can be confusing as windows can be hidden behind other windows. Some MDI applications lack a taskbar or menu to allow quick access to all windows, so for these applications in some cases a window can only be found by closing or moving all others. Practically, however, most MDI environments provide for much richer window switching functionality than SDI-oriented environments. On the other hand, since in TDI applications most tabs are visible and directly accessible, it is much harder for windows to get lost. Some MDI applications such as Opera and Eudora also have this advantage, by having tabs to access the windows. Disadvantages TDI windows must always be maximized inside their parent window, and as a result two tabs cannot be visible at the same time. This makes comparing of documents or easy copy and pasting between two documents more difficult. Full MDI interfaces allow for tiling or cascading of child windows, and do not suffer from these limitations. One example of an application that allows either TDI or MDI browsing is Opera. Using TDI by default, 
This application also supports full MDI and can also run as an SDI application. In order to mitigate these problems, some integrated development environments, such as recent versions of Zamax and Microsoft's Visual Studio, provide a hybrid interface which allows splitting the parent window into multiple MDI-like panes, each with their own separate TDI tab set. Tiling window managers such as Ion do the same for the entire desktop. This provides many of the advantages of both MDI and TDI, although it can still be difficult for users to get used to. The Conqueror browser by KDE supports multiple documents within one tab by splitting documents. In a Conqueror tab, documents can be split horizontally or vertically, and each split document can be re-split. Another strategy for dealing with the limitation that only one tab document would ordinarily be visible at one time is to allow a tab to be dragged outside the parent window and converted to a separate window. This is supported in the Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox 3. 5, and Internet Explorer 9 web browsers, for example. The following window managers provide a tab document interface. Adobe Systems holds patents in the United States and Europe on certain uses of GUI tabs, which are widely held to be trivial patents. There was prior art in both GUI and text user interfaces. Adobe used these patents to sue Macromedia Incorporated for employing tabs in its Macromedia Flash product. Adobe won the case in $2.8 million in damages. However, Macromedia initiated a countersuit which ended in a $4.9 million ruling against Adobe. The suits were settled on undisclosed terms. In 2005, Adobe ended further dispute between the two companies when it bought Macromedia for roughly $3.4 billion. On April 18, 2007, the Intellectual Property Agency IP Innovation LLC and its parent technology licensing corporation filed a lawsuit against Apple Inc. Regarding its infringement upon a U.S. patent originally filed by Xerox researchers in 1987. Thanks for watching.